Imagine a scene in London at the end of the 19th century. Bustling streets dominated by horse-drawn carriages while the Industrial Revolution continued to accelerate. But amidst this chaos, a major technological leap was about to take place. Something that, had it succeeded, could have changed the course of modern transportation long before Elon Musk and his electric cars. We're talking about the world's first electric taxis, the Bursey electric cabs, or as they were affectionately known, the hummingbirds, because they made a distinctive hum as they traveled through the streets. On August 19, 1897, London saw the debut of this fleet of 12 electric taxis, all designed by Walter Bursey a 23-year-old electrical engineer. These vehicles were not just cars. They represented a vision for a cleaner, more modern, and perhaps even quieter future. With a speed of up to 12 miles per hour, about 19 kilometers per hour, these taxis were, in fact, the first autonomous vehicles available to the public. Far from the powerful electric cars we have today, the Bursey cabs were designed to mimic the carriages of the time, but with a futuristic twist. They were elegant, luxurious, and featured both interior and exterior electric lighting. The Johnson Lundell motor that powered them was a small engineering miracle for that era, allowing them to run without the smoke or noise of steam-powered or horse-drawn vehicles. But of course, not every innovation is easy. The weight of the batteries, about 700 kilograms, caused serious issues, such as rapid tire wear and failures in internal components. And it didn't stop there. After just six months of operation, the hum of the hummingbirds was accompanied by unwanted noises and vibrations that made the ride experience somewhat unpleasant. Passengers began to realize that, as advanced as they were, these taxis weren't perfect. Unfortunately, the Bursey electric cabs didn't survive the test of time. In August 1899, just two years after their debut, the fleet was withdrawn from the streets of London. The reason? Financial and operational problems. The company, which had hoped to revolutionize transportation, recorded a loss of 6,200 pounds in its first year of operation. These numbers amounted to a major bankruptcy at the time, something that doomed the project before it could even grow. However, what the Hummingbirds left behind was a lasting legacy. Even though they didn't survive, the Bursey electric cabs showed the world that electricity could indeed be a viable alternative to horse-drawn transportation. They paved the way for later cars like the Nissan Dynamo in 2019, which brought the idea of electric taxis back to London streets nearly a century later. Today, as we drive modern electric cars or even take an electric taxi, it's impossible not to think of the hummingbirds, these pioneers who, even without commercial success, offered a vision for the future. They were the first to believe that transportation could be cleaner, quieter, and more efficient. And that's exactly what we have today. In a world that was still adjusting to the idea of motorized vehicles, they tried to pave the way. So, the next time you get into an electric car or see an electric taxi on the streets, remember the hummingbirds. They may not have left a lasting mark in terms of sales, but their vision and spirit of innovation live on in every electric vehicle on the road today. They were pioneers, and their legacy teaches us one important thing. Big innovations don't always succeed right away, but it's because of them that we move forward into the future. If you enjoyed this story about the pioneers of electric taxis and want to learn more about how the past shaped the future of transportation, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. See you next time.